This is a Ryan tries when I started doing sh like stuff in real life. Ghost Adventures. You guys know that show? Anyone? No. Anyway, this is our um our spoof of that show, but we it's a it's a skit. It's not really it's not a skit though. It's a, it's like we did it for real. We just happen to be like imitating like the people on this show. So Ryan reacts. My name is Ryan Higa. I've never believed that these ghost shows were real because they all seem so overly dramatic. Oh my god, I just got chills. The AC vent is right there. It is crazy how cold it is right here. And extremely easy to fake. What the hell is that? But then one night I had an experience of my own that completely changed my views on ghosts. Dude, ghosts are real. No, they're not. Yes, they are. What? That wasn't the experience I was referring to because I don't have footage of it. However, I can assure you that despite all the jokes and obvious ghost show parody, everything you're about to see and hear is 100% authentic, even if we end up capturing nothing at all. This is Ryan Tries. Go, 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 Sunny. So right now we are headed about. Again, this disclaimer. Um, this is an actual place we went to. And we got permission to go there. And this was on Ghost Adventures. This actual place. So we're, we're as, as much of a joke, that's what the intro was. As much as of a joke it might seem like it is because of the voice I'm doing and stuff. This is actually real. Anyway, uh, we've already reacted to this, I know. But, uh, fuck you. Tony, thank you for the sub. Erica, Erica, thank you for the sub as well. And Grimgore, thank you. Ghost hunting. <clears throat> so right now we are headed about 40 miles outside of Las Vegas, Nevada to the town of Good Springs to investigate the historic and famously haunted building known as the Pioneer Saloon. It's been featured in multiple movies and TV shows including Ghost Adventures which were definitely oh, wait. not copy. We're planning to stay <laughs> throughout the entire night to capture okay. as much as we can. I just uh, explained everything I'm explaining right now. I we forgot that I did this. Normal filming equipment, normal audio recording devices. But in addition to that, we picked up some uh, night vision cameras and some actual ghost hunting equipment, including like those EVP recorders and ghost box, a bunch of random stuff that we don't actually know how to use. But luckily for us, we are going to be meeting the owner of the saloon, who is a lot more experienced in this than we are. Phasmophobia in real life. This, that's what this man. is. Yes. Good to meet you. The legend's here. Good to see you. <laughs> You're the legend, apparently. Oh. So, um, can you just tell me like a history of this place? Like, sure. Yeah. So the, this guys? is the town of Good Springs, which uh, um, back in the teens it was one of the largest. This cities video. In uh, so Good Springs got a. This video was before I got glasses. These are fake. <laughs> I just did it to look like Zach Baggins, the guy that hosts the other show. It's big boom, of course, because of the mining. So, I mean, I saw the episode that they did on Ghost Adventures here, and that was you beyond the bar. Yeah. Right. So I saw a little bit of your story, but just so that we can have it, um, do you sure. want to tell us a little bit of your experiences here? My experience, it was about probably about nine years ago. Uh, I was getting ready to close up the bar, counted all the money, made sure the doors were locked. But there's a full apparition at the end of the bar that drinks a beer, maybe about that tall, beat up cowboy hat. Just by looking at him, you know he's... And you were looking directly, directly at, at him. It didn't disappear or... We had, it, I would say, <coughs> eye contact, but that would be impossible. You could tell by just looking at him that he was there. <laughs> That's shot. Is there anything correlated to the so history? Probably the best documented um, situation at the bar. There's three... I wonder what holes. these guys thought. They see daylight through They've all been three interve of like, interviewed by ghost hunters, like real ghost hunters. I wonder the if they thought we were real. Cheating. Try to cash out $10. Or if they knew that we were making like a YouTube well, to justified homicide, like joke. <laughs> his punishment was to bury him in, in the cemetery. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and obviously, we're gonna need some of your help with some of the equipment that we're not used to using. I'm, I'm lending you guys the the full staff of the haunted lockdown tour, and then they're gonna guide you guys through it with all the spirit boxes and all that. But you're out. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll just say, <laughs> say good night. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, again, well, super thank nice you guy. Again so oh, I appreciate it. No, we appreciate yeah. it. Small, yeah, small town energy. Super nice. Super welcoming. Super All right. Haunted. So I'm here with Joe <laughs> oh, God, and Daryl. And um, you guys want to explain 
I mean, we have a bunch of fun devices here, but you want to explain also very what nice you guys people. do exactly? Oh, yeah, so actually, so we're members of the um, Pioneer Saloon Ghost Team. Um, yeah, so basically what we have here is a collection of the devices that we use for the lockdowns. And Joe can explain. A little bit about them, yes. Yeah. This right here is one of my favorite devices. It's a spirit box. With this device, oh, we so can annoying. actually communicate with the spirits. Oh, and nice. through the white noise of this is just a radio receiver. I what we do the is we scan it so in reverse. Her laugh so was this is actually yeah, enough from a horror movie. And so sometimes we'll pick up words, <laughs> or on a very rare occasions, you'll pick up whole sentences, which is pretty cool because you're you're. But scanning. you have before in the past. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, wow. Just to explain, we're not. Uh, in the saloon right now. This is the right, cafe this, next right, to the yes. saloon. So there's not any technically anything here, right? That we've got a lot of activity here. Yeah, as well. I think it's really oh. the whole property. Well, you were also it's telling us that electronics, for whatever reason here, uh, mess up. Like we've already had Did one I of our batteries. The first time? A couple Honestly, of them Honestly, I was. Just I'm very fully charged when we skeptical here, about everything. Dead. That, see, that's sort of typical. Um, so I've always line. had that. Like, yeah, even if we had got, people, a lot, a lot or of hear something, I want to like, like, oh, like, yeah. I want to think happen, of like, every I single reason why that's not. This a is ghost, um, you know? one of the original. Um, it's called a EMF detector. What a lot of uh, people in the paranormal field use. This will you can measure when the lights go up. Okay, that means it's like I try to debunk everything that happened. To this. There's some energy. things I'll tell you guys after. So when energy becomes that comes wasn't even that we didn't even capture on camera that pod. happened. Oh, That's okay. my energy interacting with it. So the so um, the closer something is exactly. But this we'll watch is, this first. Um, the Ovulus Five. This actually has a built in. That was <laughs> this. This is speaking now. It said raised and. This will actually, <laughs> it has a built-in dictionary and the spirits can actually pick the words that they want to communicate with us through this. So why, so why did that just happen now, raised and end? I'm not real sure. Um, Is there ever a time where you feel like it's just, how do you know it's really it, it can be, it can, was, it can it's be It's my time. Uh, <laughs> You'll be fine. Also by the environment, but the, the goal for us it's is a comedy. Like, you know, if it's, you want to try to get the least channel. light off, we'll say, are you here? Can you make the meter light up? And try to get a specific reaction to a question. They want now we <laughs> do have what if a lot raisin of prominent brand. spirits here. One raisin of them I'd love brand. to talk about on this side. Just actually, hungry. That's where he ate breakfast. It's um, Edison, ultimately actually. Ultimately, she was murdered right over, on what, right by the raisin second booth over brand. to our left. Her name was Ruby. Ruby was here in the store, the cafe. It was a mercantile store back then. She was alone, and someone came in, and they beat her. They raped her, and then she was strangled, and she was left for dead right over to her left. All right, I mean, that seems like a good place as any to let's start. Let's do it. Let's, let's <laughs> get this Oh, well, this thank you guys. Started. Let's do this. Cool. All right. Right as we <laughs> began to cut cameras and move right. on to the next part of our investigation, one of the devices unexpectedly began to go off on its own. I mean, it's fine if you Now, nobody touched that, as you guys just Did saw. Did you guys cut already? <laughs> you got that? No there we go. Right. They're doing it again. To do yeah. it. Anyone who watched Ghost Adventures, you make it that's go to the red? voice I was trying to do. What does that mean, red? Oh, yes. nothing. We just ask him. Okay, I take it you guys are ready to tell Ruby's story then. Let's... Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. well. After reviewing this footage carefully with headphones, our audio devices also captured what we thought sounded like a scary ghost well, moment. There we go. They're doing it again. Back up from that. Yep. You heard it? Uh only to later discover that it's actually a familiar noise that our cameraman Greg makes when he's scared. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> uh, we're in the, the booth right now dude. where Ruby was That's murdered. It. Well, she, there wasn't a booth. It was She was on the ground here. Uh, correct, right. Where we're sitting, her head was a little bit past you is where she ended up. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the first, I guess, spot. <laughs> right. Um, so, about 10.30 when night we drive past the cemetery which y'all saw and um it's pitch black we parked on the outside and there's a fence there so the woman said um should we take photos i said of course i always take three this is what was in the second photo <laughs> is that not amazing now until someone can tell me differently because i know this girl and i'm very unsavvy but Right. You can't tell me that that is that not is the same very... person. <laughs> 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 
That's See, valid. I was thinking, is that her hand by the or the phone close to the thing? That's her. Did we get? Yes. What is happening right now? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is Everything so cute. Everything is going off. Right, because they love it when we, Ruby loves it when her story's told. Okay. And when I show her photo, they get very excited. Oh, it's going crazy right yeah. now. Yeah. Don't worry, guys, they're you're not going to see I, anything. I adore these spirits. They're amazing and they're very friendly. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yes. After these two strange occurrences in the cafe uh, next to sorry. the saloon, it was time to investigate the saloon itself by sitting at the exact same table that the poker player was murdered at back in 19-something a long time ago. Is there anyone here with us Probably right now? I should have took notes before I did the voiceovers. This, okay guys, this doesn't show it. This might seem like, oh, we're getting all this activity, but this is over the course of like three hours of being in there. So don't think that it's just, oh, we went in there and shit started to go down. This is, there's a lot of useless footage in here. We just cut to it because why would we show all that? Anyway. Yeah, this is too. We have our audio recorder close to here. Can you guys say hello to us? How many spirits are here with us? Sam is responding, but we can't hear yeah, him. Something, I heard something. Ruby, are you here with us? Three. Can you make his music light up in front of him? Uh, thank you. Okay, how many ladies are here with us? Well, that was a girl's voice. Yeah. After you guys start talking, I'm definitely picking up like more orbs. Really? After closer review, we noticed that the flight pattern of those orbs looks similar to that of a bug, but since we're not experienced enough to distinguish between actual orbs and bugs, we can't debunk this one. So for now, we'll just call it debugged. So now we're in the saloon. Sorry. So we got our holes. Oh, it took me a while to get yeah. that one out in the voiceover. <laughs> right where the action was. Um, who was the man that was shot here? Pa. Polkowski. Is Paul here with us right now? Uh huh. Is there anything you want to say, Paul? Is it? What is that? Hello? Yeah, maybe a hello. Everything. We continued to That's try and communicate with Paul like for nearly 30 minutes, Evan. but had little to or no response. Evan. But because Paul died playing poker, like. we decided to bring out playing cards in hopes to trigger a response from Come him on. when <laughs> this happened. Okay, I'm gonna call. We're gonna get the party started. Hey, Paul. You... Think laughing? Women? Laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Paul, do you think we should call? You should? You should. You should? Call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, this part had me a little Man, skeptical. Sure. Yeah, it is. But that was, was the like, only coherent response we got. have control over this box minutes, thing? So we like, decided you know to move I mean? on to the next spot that has been frequently know. reported for having paranormal activity. But right now we're gonna have. Ooh, it's. I don't know. It just keeps going red, which supposedly means a lot of activity. <clears throat> um, we're gonna head to the bathroom because we're. I, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but they said that a lot of women say that uh, a lot happens in the women's bathroom, specifically the women's. So. I can't believe we I actually we bought that uh, That's our camera, night vision camera for this. All right, so we're going into the women's bathroom. Yeah. Nothing. This is like less activity than out there. Yeah. Should we try the men's? Oh, it's really, yeah, it keeps going red over here. Right, oh, oh, it's, oh, it's hot right here. Look, is there someone in here? It smells so bad in here compared <laughs> to the other one. I think men are just smelly. There's definitely some activity in here. Look, this was never going on. Is someone in the bathroom with me? Oh, oh, this is weird. It's like right here. It's like right, oh, it's right here. It's right here? Wait, go higher up, go higher up. We got a little red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a tall ass. Yo, that's a strong red. Yo. That's solid red. That's weird. 
Who else is in here? Ooh, what if we take that? In the bathroom? Yeah. In the bathroom. We could. Let's do it. Yeah. What do we do? Put it on the ground. What if there's a ghost in this thing? thing? Basically, just show you the consistency when you go like this. So earlier it was going off on its own. That's why I freaked this out. Hasn't really done it since. But um, if it goes off in here, it would be very crazy. Phasmophobia, boys. <laughs> Oh, 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 there's something there. Go higher, go higher. <laughs> Why would it be up at the top and at the bottom? Though? Okay. No way. It's a seven foot ghost. Just no way, dude. <laughs> no. Oh. No, but it was going up higher. As we continue to investigate the men's bathroom with the REM pod, we also got a coherent response for the very first time from the Ovulus 5, the device that allows spirits to communicate using a select number of words, almost like a modern day Ouija board. Look area much. Look area what? much. Oh my god. <laughs> what? No way. This may not seem like a big deal, but throughout the entire night, the Ovulus 5 had little to no activity, and even when it did, it gave us words that seemed completely irrelevant. But when it gave us the words look, area, and much, the exact same time that we were looking at an area very much, Lee, we couldn't pretend that we weren't freaked out. Muchly freaked out. How is it happening? <laughs> you! That's, this is your show! <laughs> <laughs> Are you still here? Oh my god! What's on the other side of this wall? The only thing that's actually out here. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's the, the bar. outside bar. At Wait. this exact moment, although our audio equipment could barely capture it, two oh, of our cameramen this. heard a thump coming from behind them on the other side of the room. Did you hear that? I 100% heard that. What was that? I don't know. What'd you hear? It was like that, like a door closing or something. <clears throat> On this end, huh? It almost sounded like a wood. Yeah, like a wood thing. Maybe even this. This is I where remember. I was thinking. I just went through this door to. Yeah. Uh, is somebody else get setting us up? Yeah. Cards, and this door you know, is open. Is, like, Both of these there, doors are open. Do they have no. somebody we else working we here? It, no. Well, it's like setting us when up. I, when I went in there to go get the SD cards, because the SD cards. But if that were the case, I mean, there. they could have made it Both more obvious for the cameras, you know? And they took a really long time. Yeah, for sure. 100% positive. I'm, I'm like 90, 95. I mean, that's what's sounding like wood or something. It sounds like, some, yeah. Some kind of like a, like something. Is there like a breeze that usually goes through yeah. here that can close these doors? Yeah. yeah Maybe was, try, and, was open? try and open it and just see if it'll close on its own. It was like this? Yeah. <clears throat> sure. It's nighttime for me. I'm scared. Dude, don't worry. This is, this is not where you are at. I Unless you're really living good it, it, <laughs> For the sound, though. Which is like, I don't know, 100 people live there. Yeah. And I remember coming out quick because I didn't want to be in here, so I went like, I didn't like dodge the door or anything. Somebody close this door over here. Oh yeah. wow, it's peaking right now. Oh, it's it for a second. Yeah. Really cold. I know, dude. Whoa, look, that? look, look. Can you see this? Look at this. Can you see that? Wow, Did you show up you on got camera? Chills. Look I at got you. legit chills. He felt wow. the same thing, and then this thing just shot up. Also, when you asked you somebody closed it, the hair, hair, guys. The so hair. that door really was open. Could Look. you move the door again or something? <laughs> oh, it's, we felt something really cold, and we're assuming that was you. It's not normal. <laughs> I've never really felt something like that before. Me. So was it me? A lady's voice. A lady's voice, yeah. yeah. Sus, dude. Freaking sus. Ruby. What's your name? That actually did feel weird. Whether it's in my head or whatever. <laughs> we all felt some What's really that? like cold. Would you hear? Not like a breeze. Yeah, yeah two syllables. I don't know how to describe Wait, it. Wait, Ruby. Well, that was a long time, wasn't it? Ruby. It was oh. probably Ruby, yeah. Oh, Ruby's yeah, Ruby, are you here, sweetheart? 
Um, Ruby. You like these guys, huh? Um, Ruby, are you here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. Ruby, did you close the door? Really wish you guys would move the curtain for us. Can you do that, please? A lot of the stuff she was asking for didn't happen, but apparently they did in the past. Yeah, which kind of sucked because like we didn't get any of it on camera. I think that was Greg, no? No. Did you just move a glass? Yeah. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Again, despite all the silliness and jokes with these voiceovers, all the footage and audio that you've just seen and heard is exactly what we captured that night. And whether you're a believer or a skeptic. There are things in this world that we'll never know for sure. Were spirits really trying to communicate with us or was it some kind of interference? Did we capture actual orbs on camera or were those just bugs flying around in the dark? Did we really in fact witness a spirit physically closing a full-size wooden door? Or is Greg just a big fat wooden liar? We will never know. All we know for sure is nothing. This is yep. Ryan Tries. Or Ryan trying, if we change it, because that's what you guys want me to do. But Ryan tries for now. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh. Oh. Well, hello. Yeah. Something is going down. They don't want us to move. Yeah. Even those things are, are going off. Yeah. All at the same time. Is anyone rolling? Um, yeah, I got it. You got Did it. You? Did you get that? Is it you don't want us to leave? That was crazy. Right as we're back. No, you don't want us to leave. <laughs> what time is breakfast? <laughs> I tried. All right. Well, hi. That was another Ryan Reacts and quite a long one. Um, so, like I said, like I was going to say, uh, the craziest and scariest thing that happened that night wasn't even to us. My mom and my dad were my were in town, and they were waiting in the other room with one of our um, producers, Jacob, and his wife. And they were, like, in, like, the cafe area. And while we were doing all this, keep in mind, we were in there for, like, three hours. They heard people, two people talking outside of the, uh, outside of the cafe area, um, like, kind of whispering, talking. And nobody else was supposed to be on that property except for the people that were with us in that room. And so they Jacob went to open the door and look and they went they all went and saw nobody there. And we didn't obviously this wasn't where we were, right? Because we were in the the building next door. Um so there should have been no one there. And when they looked, there was no one there. But they definitely all four of them heard talking. And there's no reason for them to lie about that. <clears throat> and we didn't put it in the video because we don't have any proof. Um, but they, my mom, my dad, uh, Jacob and his wife, they all said that they heard talking and there's no reason why anyone would be there talking outside of that building. Like there's no reason anyone sh at that point, it's almost scarier if it is a human, like, cause why are humans sneaking around where we're filming? You know what I mean? 